Hey sunshine, it's Katie from Dark Sunlight. If you're new here, I make videos about bullet journaling, witchy things, and lifestyle in Montreal. If that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And if you're curious about how my bullet journal looks when it's all filled in, then follow me on Instagram at dark underscore sunlight. In this video, I'll be setting up my bullet journal for September. I tried to aim for a dark academia theme this time around. I started on the cover page by filling in this cursive letter S with a white gel pen. I added September going across it in black ink and filled in the mini calendar underneath it. I wanted to create the look of torn craft paper without adding any bulk to my notebook. So I drew wiggly lines to create the torn edges and filled the paper with my 990 light sand Tombow marker. By using a warm gray drop shadow and highlighting the edges with a white gel pen, it gave the paper a more three-dimensional look. I knew the gel pen would resist the water-based ink of the marker, so the decorative S design would show through almost as if it had been stamped onto the paper. On the opposing page, I wanted to create a character to represent the theme. I started by drawing her backpack with a rose and a sprig of eucalyptus down by her feet. These themes are sprinkled throughout the rest of the pages as well to help the whole theme feel more cohesive. For her design, I imagined her being a young student looking forward to her new school year and living her best life in some end of summer, early fall fashion. I don't feel particularly skilled at drawing humans, which is part of why I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to work this 757 port red color into my designs and I thought it would look amazing as a hair color, so that's what I started with. I'm always worried I'll ruin my drawings once I add the color, and with this page, I almost did. I made the choice to add gray to the skin, thinking it would just darken it a bit, but it washed everything out too much. I fixed it mostly off camera using layers of colored pencil to help bring back the warmth. On the next page, I set up my monthly calendar. I thought that hand-drawn lines might be a nice look with this theme as opposed to the perfect lines of a ruler. I also made my calendar a bit smaller using five by five sized squares to allow for a bit more room at the top and side for notes and illustrations. For all of the gray highlights throughout this theme, I used an N89 warm gray Tombow as opposed to my usual go-to of N95 cool gray because I really wanted to maintain the feeling of warmth and coziness throughout the designs. In the top right corner of the spread, I added an illustration of a rose and some old books piled on a table. I made sure to repeat the same pink, green, and brown colors in the design to keep it looking cohesive with everything else. On the following page, I started with the Habit Tracker title using a cursive font in N42 cappuccino color and writing on top with a black pen. Beneath it, I created six mini calendars to track my habits throughout the month. In the bottom left corner, I drew an ink bottle that had been tipped over and spilled. Following the spill over to the right corner, I drew a feather quill pen. I added the title for the mood tracker on the right hand page, filled in my color key to track my moods throughout the month, and drew 30 envelopes to color for each day. On the next page, I set up my health tracker for sleep, steps, and weight which I decorated with another sprig of eucalyptus and a little teacup. I'd love to take a wee moment right here to thank my newest patrons. Thank you so much, Cynthia, Kendra, Bex, Tegan, Jamie, and Antoinette. 
Without my Patreon supporters, I wouldn't be able to create these videos for you. So I appreciate your kindness so, so much. If you'd like to receive monthly bullet journal printables, digital wallpapers, as well as your name in the credits of every video, please feel free to join the other lovely sunshines on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below. On the following page, I set up my productivity level board, which looks very similar to my usual setup, but with just a few changes to the habits I'll track. Along the top, I added the title and a rose and fountain pen to fill the space in the corner. On the following page, I created another student character for the faves title. On this page, I'll track my favorite foods, movies, shows, games, books, and moments of the month. The final spread I set up is my first weekly of the month. For this, I added an illustration across the center using some of the elements from previous pages and divided the page into eight sections for each day of the week, plus a space for a title and mini calendar. And with all that done, let's flip through all the spreads we've created today. Overall, I wanted this theme to be academic while dipping into those darker, warm, and cozy vibes of early autumn. September is also my birthday month, so I always get a bit more excited to set it up. If you're inspired by any of these designs in your own bullet journals, feel free to tag me on Instagram so I can check them out. I posted the digital printable of this setup as well as a themed phone background and desktop wallpaper for my lovely Patreon sunshines. And I've added a limited time listing to my Etsy store for those that only want to purchase the one setup. Both my Patreon and Etsy will be linked below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.